So what do you argue about Navya? I mean, your mom says it's mostly, it's not on issues. It's more about like, you know, daily hygiene. Like, have you, have you cleaned up after you? Is your room tidy? But do you find that you represent, obviously, so do you find you represent a different way of thinking that when both of you talk about what feminism is or what freedom is, you don't necessarily see it the same way. And that's fine. That can happen even within the same generation. But you know, what are some of the minefields that you have to navigate carefully when it comes to, to your mom? And do you agree that she's much tougher on you than she's on your brother? Yes, I 100% agree that she's a lot, lot tougher on me. But um, no, I don't think we disagree on anything or we have different ways of thinking. It's actually, um, I would say it's actually great that me, my mom and my nani, actually, we all three think in the same way. So even when we're sitting in the evening and talking about issues, um, you know, maybe the information source that we're coming with is different. Like my mom, you know, the way we get our information is different, but the ideas and the opinions are always the same. And I think that's probably why um, I have this way of thinking is because she's come from that school of thought and she's come from that school of thought because my nani has. So it's actually great that, you know, we have three generations of different women um, who've lived life at different points, but all think the same way about, you know, feminism or women. Um, and I think that's great. I actually think that's, um, it's great because I don't have to explain, you know. Navya, I think you're a lot more impatient and you're a lot more Am frustrated I? about like the situation of, you know, of, of how things are. And, and maybe my mother is very angry about it. <laughs> um, hers is a different reaction. And I think I'm somewhere in the middle where, yes, it angers me enough that I feel more has to be done. But I also understand that, you know, we are just about beginning as, as a country, as a society. We're just about beginning to even discuss these issues. And it takes time. Change takes time. Navya's, Navya's attitude is it should be happening today and this. And, you know, there's a lot of angst and frustration, which I guess goes far for the course with her age and her yeah. stage in life. But... And my mother's also very angry and volatile about things. And I feel I'm somewhere in the middle. Sort of. yeah, that's like, yeah. that's, it, takes time. It, it takes time. It starts, actually, I feel where it starts from is from the home where the mother's voice or the matriarch's voice is heard, not just on issues of what to eat today, but also wider issues, politics, um, society, um, you know, different things where my mother's voice was always taken into account. Um, and I think yeah. it also comes from someone who's worked, who's made her own money, who's brought her own heft to the table. I haven't done that. But because I'm so used to my mother, my grandmother, my daddy, who I lived with, they all had a voice, whether it be about something they've read in the newspaper or a news item or, you know, whether they think you should take this business decision or not. These are things they've always been involved in. And I think in homes, if you start involving women in these minor decision making things, and, you know, I, I think it, then you will, your daughters see that you have a voice and then they grow to have a voice. And I think that's how it's yeah. done. You don't have to be standing with a banner or a flag or placards. It just comes from involved women who actually, I feel, have very strong, um, you know, I they have a very, uh, their strength is that they're able to understand also better their their eq is better therefore they can make decisions or inform you on decisions that maybe a man will not think about and at least in my house i have seen my grandfather my dadaji behave like this my father has behaved like this we they've always asked the women what they they feel whether it's a, a movie or whether it's a business decision or whether whatever it is and i feel if you involve and you hear the voice of of the women in your house i think then you grow up to have a voice of your own and you don't have to teach it it's just absorbed like osmosis it's just absorbed 